Welcome to the Veterans Online Summit. My name is Larry Peacock, and I am the host of the summit. And it's going to be completely free this weekend. So definitely watch all the videos. The schedule is up. If you look on my Facebook pro profile for Larry Peacock, the complete schedule is up for the Veterans Online Summit. So definitely take notes uh, while you're watching all the speakers. Each of the speakers present a different online business model. And that was the purpose of the summit is just to kind of expose you to all the business models for starting an online business. If you want all time access, like an all access pass that you can watch the videos at any time you want after this weekend, you can upgrade to that pass at veteransonlinesummit.com. We will also be providing workbooks that will correlate to each of the interviews that will help you dive, you know, kind of dive more into that. As far as our Facebook group, look for Funnel Vets, F-U-N-N-E-L-V-E-T-S, Funnel Vets on Facebook. All right, I hope you guys have a great time. Thank you so much uh, for joining us to, at the uh, Veterans Online Summit, and I'll see you on the high ground. Wake up, you! All right, my fellow veterans, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the Veterans Online Summit, and here I have my good friend, Dana Derricks. How are you, sir? What's up, everybody? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Larry? Oh, I'm doing really well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, I, again, I am so stoked to have you, Dana. I've been looking forward to connecting with you, sir. And uh, to my fellow veterans watching, this is Dana Derricks of the Dream 100 book. Oh, yeah, I got it right here, sir. Oh, oh. What? Yeah. Oh, I got my other one, sir. Hide, oh. hide the book secret so I don't mess around. But uh, yeah. this, I'm opening the floor to Dana, and I'm not going to hardly ask any questions. I may interject a little bit, but, sir, I just want you to take the floor. And I will tell you, veterans, like, freaking get a pen and paper, prepare to copy, and uh, you're going to get a lot of value here. And I'm, I'm dead serious. Freaking listen up. Cool. All right, let's go, sir. All righty. Well, thank you so much. Um, and first of all, to you, Larry, and to everybody else that's listening or watching, um, sincerely, thank you so much for your service. Um, it's heroes like you that allow jagaloons like me to uh, be able to live and, and uh, enjoy our fresh air and all that good stuff. So seriously, thank you for your service. Cool. Freaking America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. And uh, so though, for those that don't know, um, I love America, by the way. And um, I sent a, actually in the basement of my house had a humongous wall didn't know what to do with it and uh what did i do with that wall larry oh yeah dude i saw it bro you sent me a picture man <laughs> yeah so i i put a giant american flag like a huge biggest huge one, bro. Flag, yeah and uh so that's my wall now and i sent a picture to larry because i knew uh, and you got the one back there bro that's right i there we go i'd be yeah, a bad man. yeah that's I, solid, I love dude. it love america um, so anyway, uh, welcome everybody. I'm super excited to help serve you today uh, because you've served me and I'm happy to do that. And a little bit about me, I'm not your conventional suit and tie kind of guy. Um, I'm actually a goat farmer. That's my other job. <laughs> and that's the noise they make. So uh, for those that have been deployed, you've probably seen these things or even those of you that are back home probably seen these things. But now anytime you ever think of a goat, you're oh, going to think of me. So sorry to ruin you. Um, <laughs> awesome. All right. So I'm just going to dive into some really cool stuff. So oh, I, yeah, I, I think I'm just going to kind of, um, sort of just freestyle this because I want to like, I, I do specialize in this thing called the dream 100, which I'll get to in a second, but there are a number of lessons that I now 13 years into being an entrepreneur and having to sustain and deal with a lot of crap. Um, I wish I would have known, uh, when I was starting. So for those of you out there, um, I'm going to do my best to help you leverage the skills and the um, awesome achievements and accomplishments and life experience that you have, just like Larry is, but to apply that now to being an entrepreneur because um, <laughs> being an entrepreneur is not for everybody. And the cold hard truth is most of the entrepreneurs out there that claim that title aren't. And in fact, um, you know, uh, they're entrepreneurs, <laughs> to be honest, and the reality is, is they could never walk a day in your life. I okay. promise you. So you being ex-military is way over qualification for you to be an entrepreneur and for you to weather these storms because the crap that we deal with as entrepreneurs is nothing compared to what you've been through. And so we're going to use those life lessons and that toughness uh, to then dive into 
a, a new career and a new start for you. And that's why I'm so proud of Larry for helping to rescue you from a, a corporate uh, life sucking type option. Right. And uh, so with that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple cool things. So let me get my lighting here and then I'm going to swap cameras. Hopefully this works. And let me level set with you all, by the way, this dream 100 book uh, that Dana um, wrote, he sold this for $2,000 a copy, Roger. 2000, and I'm not joking. He sold these books for $2,000 a copy. So again, I would pay attention to his uh, expert marketing advice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like put it on the, it's like a, those, um, those infomercials where it spins on the thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. But yeah, no, that's really, it is actually true. I sell books for $2,000 a copy. The rest of the world sells them for 20 bucks. So with that being said, if this is the best presentation of all of these in this summit, forgive me, but I like to bring what I call, um, and Larry will laugh, but I, I like to bring the thunder. So um, there's no better audience that deserves this than you guys. So here we go. First and foremost, um, what I want you all to know is that most people that think they have a business don't. They only have a product or a service. Okay. So an extremely important concept to understand that probably Larry introduced you to or through some resource of, of some sort is a concept of a value ladder. Okay. So once we get this right, you're going to be in really good shape. Okay. So this is something I did wrong for the first like eight years of my career. Um, <laughs> and uh, still made up quite a bit of money, but like it's a lot easier to serve and do all that good stuff if you have one of these. So Here's what I mean. So let's say that you decide to pick a lane, right? And go, just go with that lane. Larry gives you different lanes. Pick one and go with it. Don't dive into one like 20% and then start another one. And then, right, like go all in on one. So let's say that whatever lane you chose, let's say that you do coaching, okay? So. Hey, Dana, make sure you're in that mic the whole time when you go off of it. It's hard to hear. Okay, perfect. Cool. So let's, let's say that you choose the lane of being a coach whatever that looks like. Okay. Um, here's the, here's the deal. Most people, 95% of businesses that think they're businesses, but they're confused because they're actually offers and they're not a real business, meaning that they're just a product or just a service. So for those that have ever watched shark tank, a lot of times the sharks will berate the entrepreneur because they'll say, Hey, you're not a business. You're just a product, right? This is what people do. They will just sell their coaching and then that's it. And it's, it's like a very transactional thing where it's like, yes or no, do you want to buy my coaching, right? That is not a business. You might be able to make some money doing that, but that is not a business. What you need to do is build out a value ladder, okay? So in front of your coaching, you need to have other stuff that what I call, instead of selling your thing, you need a thing that sells the thing. T-S, wait, T-T-S-T-T. The thing, wait, thing that sells the thing. I've never done this in an acronym before, but you need a thing that sells the thing. Here's what I mean. My book, this book right here, okay? This is my thing that sells the thing. So I use this book as a way to sell my other stuff. So I'm not saying you have to have a book, but that's just one option here. So you could also have something like a podcast, right? Or just content, right? Content being videos, or emails, or social media posts, right? All that stuff. This needs to happen, okay, in order for people to easily get into your coaching and actually, in fact, want your coaching, right? So let me just explain, like, and this stuff can be either free, a lot of it should be, or it can be lower, less expensive. So if you want to charge, for example, if you want to charge, let's say, $1,000, for your coaching, let's say you want to charge that every month, thousand dollars for a coaching client, and you want to get thirty of them, something like that. Or if you even want to charge five thousand dollars, whatever it is, it will be a million times easier to get these people to buy this and spend this money with you if you can get them to consume this stuff down here first, right? So let me show you the difference. When somebody comes into my world, erase that for a second. <laughs> when somebody comes into my world, absolutely cold and they have not consumed anything of mine down here. Getting them into my coaching programs and my courses and everything else that I sell is really difficult. Imagine like a cold prospect getting on the phone. Like that's tough, 
right? It's tough to sell someone that doesn't know you, like you, or trust you, right? You have to go like do a bunch of stuff that you like don't necessarily need to do, but it, it's like hard selling. That's not fun for anybody, right? Versus look at the difference. If somebody reads this and consumes it like Larry has, like you guys are gonna, you all of a sudden know, like, and trust me because I deliver a tremendous amount of value inside of this book. Okay. So watch the difference in the dynamic between somebody that hasn't consumed something that I want to sell my coaching to versus someone that has consumed this, right? They get value from this. They get to know you, like you trust you from this. This is the thing that sells the thing. And then they want this. They're like banging on your door for it. Right. So is that, so Larry, I'll give you a chance here to kind of inject. What are yeah, your thoughts here? Absolutely. Um, so, you know, we call that the lead magnet, right? You want that irresistible offer that when the, uh, when they come into you, when they, you know, somebody comes across your, your website or what we call a sales funnel, they see that irresistible offer. They have to know more. They got to want to know more about you. And so you have that irresistible offer at the front. That's just a low ticket item. And, you know, and you get their information, you get their email and you hopefully get their debit card with a, a small offer transaction. And then boom, they're into your funnel. And then once they're in there, you start delivering as much value as you can, and you can push them up the uh, value ladder to the coaching. Amen. Brilliantly said. So cool. what a lot of people do wrong is they don't understand that the whole point of this, these things, you, these irresistible offers you talk about, the, the lead magnet type things, the whole point of that is to get people here. So what happens is, and this is back when I was doing consulting um, for companies, one of the first things I'd look at is, all right, should, like dump out all your assets on the table, all the stuff you sell or all the stuff that you market. And I'm like, okay, it's very clear what's happening. It's just not a clear path from here to here or even from here to here, right? So here's a really cool thing. Once you already have someone that gives you money, okay, this person right here gives you money. They are going to want to give you more money. I promise you, okay? So if you think yeah. about it, um, how like uh larry for example what what's your favorite brand of um uh shirts um so i used to go like well uh, the buckle i like i like that yeah. buckle. <laughs> awesome so yeah. when you so when you go to the buckle do you just buy one thing or do you load up uh, i try to load up yeah <laughs> amen all right i do i'm the same man so um i have like actually like 12 pairs of buckle jeans it's stupid but um anyway so the the point, yeah, the point is, is when you're happy with something, you want more of it. Absolutely. Right? So the point is, for those that might be thinking, well, oh, I don't know, though, because like they already bought from me or whatever, like most companies don't do this because most companies don't understand that concept. They just chase around the new, the, the next uh, new, new customer, new client. And that's really expensive because the reality is, is once you get them into your world, you've got to like the whole point is to send them up. Okay. Even the ones that already pay you a lot right? So it doesn't matter, by the way, it could be, it doesn't have to be coaching. It can be e-com, whatever your lane is that you've cho chosen. Like that's where the, the offer would fall. But the point is, is now we don't stop there. Like we should keep selling them stuff because why they want more stuff as long as we're delivering value. Right. Yeah. So we think about, well, all right, cool, Dana, but like, I don't know what to sell next. Okay. Well, just think about this person and their journey, okay? And this is a pretty cool concept. So um, I wanna talk about like uh, problems for a second, right? So problems are solved down here, but guess what about problems? They don't go away, right? They just change. So one problem start, solve, is solved, but there's a new problem that starts. So a good example of this was back when I was really freaking broke and like not living well. I thought making a bunch of money would solve all my problems. I made a bunch of money. It solved some problems, but again, they change. They don't go away. Right. And I had new problems. They were different problems, but they were new problems, right? Like all of a sudden you drive a nice car. That's awesome. But like now I can't park in a, in a tight parking spot at the grocery store anymore. Right. Like that's an amazing problem, but shit, it's a problem. Right. Yeah. So anyway, some, so it's first world problems, right? But um, point is, <laughs> um, what problem is solved here 
that's awesome to identify, but then to figure out what you should offer next. It's like, okay, what problem does this create? Right? So like, for example, me having a really nice car that solved my problem of like not breaking down and being able to get places reliably, but it started a new problem that I was scared to park. So guess what happened at restaurants, nice places. They created valet parking, right? Yeah. Where I don't even have to park the dang thing. Okay. So that solved the next problem. So that's all we're doing here is like, okay, we solved that problem. What problem did that create though? It's a lot of times a good problem. Then we go up here. We solved that problem. It's like, okay, well, what problem did that create? And then we get people to keep buying from us because we keep serving them at higher levels. And there's a million different things we can plug in here. Um, but um, I just want you to know, like, this is a business. <laughs> just selling one thing is not a business. It's a product or a service. How am I doing so far, Larry? That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, cool. You're, so you're now, now I want to introduce my fun little strategy here that you know all about called the Dream 100 and how this will fit into it. Okay. So I hope this whiteboard's okay. Is this cool? Working okay? Yeah. And you know, I heard somebody talk about this kind of similar uh, thing that you're talking about as far as the ladder, um, but that, that you're always looking to transition a person. So if you have a monthly subscription, like you're a fitness trainer and you have this monthly subscription or whatnot, it's not that you're trying to do recurring and you're trying to get them, you're trying to move them. You're always wanting to look to move them up and give them more value. You know what I'm saying? So not just giving them the same thing over and over again, but hey, what's next? What's next? How can we provide you more value? It's going to cost more. It's going to take more of our time, but you're going to get better for it rather than just giving you the same thing over and over. Absolutely. So there's a million different examples of that. And actually, um, I'm going to tie the dream of heart into this whole concept in a second, because um, to just build out a whole value ladder, like, like, as you can see, that's how you build a business. But the problem is, is like, it might take a long time to do that. It might be really hard. So I don't want anybody to think that they have to build that out from the get go. I'm going to show you actually a quick like trick to uh, build out your value ladder without even having to put that stuff together. Is that Solid. pretty cool? So we'll, we'll actually use other people's stuff to Perfect. plug into our value ladder. Okay. Perfect. So here's the dream 100. Oh, I got to switch back to the fancy whiteboard here. So I'm going to introduce you to literally the thing that changed my life and my business. So back when I was a college kid, um, one of the low points of my life, I think I was like 20, 21 years old. Um, I had just retired from playing football and it was a huge part of my life, whatever. And um, I remember I had a night class and I went to, uh, it was a four hour night class and I went to Taco Bell after and I was super hungry and I swiped my card for a meal and six dollars and 12 cents and um it got declined i was like damn this is embarrassing and this is not like i gotta get back on camera for this this is not how i want to live <laughs> so the next day i actually um took out a 500 dollars credit card thank you visa and uh, i literally drove to barnes and noble the bookstore and i filled up a physical shopping cart full of books and I spent $500 and maxed out that card on books. And I just read, 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 read. And six months later, I was making um, about $100,000 a year as a freelance writer. And it was awesome. It was life-changing. But then um, I was introduced to this concept right here called the Dream 100. And by my senior year in college, that was my junior year. So by my senior year in college, I was sitting in the back of the room being taught by this marketing professor. Um, about marketing and I was making $336,000 as a freelancer and uh, didn't tell a soul because I should have been teaching that class yeah, <laughs> right? <after> that. <laughs> Dude. and going from it was 96,000 my junior year to 336,000 it literally came from this concept I'm about to share with everybody so if that's cool if that's all right Larry I'm gonna spill yeah. it in. <laughs> no I'm gonna cut it off right no, here. you're good all right see you guys <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is how the, uh, basically the rest of the world, um, operates their business and they acquire customers. So they just kind of have their thing that they sell, whether that's a product or a service, and they just sell it directly to their customer. And then the customer either buys it or they don't. That's pretty standard, right? Yep. Now here's where the dream 100 comes in. So the dream 100 is essentially a concept where 
we want to sell our thing, same exact thing we're selling, but instead of selling it to the end customer, we want to actually find people who have already gathered tons and tons and tons of people who can and should become our customer. These look like little ninjas. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not. Okay, cool. Little, little, little soldiers. Yeah, there you go. So if you think about it this way, we want, instead of selling directly to our customer, the end customer, we want to just bypass that. We want to go to groups of our customer, right? So we want to find somebody that already has an audience of our end customer, our leads, I guess you could call it, um, to sell our thing to, right? Because think about it this way. We could try and sell one thing, and let's say our thing was 10 bucks, right? We sell one thing, we get $10. <laughs> or we could have this person essentially prescribe our stuff to this audience or this group of people. And let's sell, say that 50 of them buy. So now we have 50 people that bought our one thing. Yeah. Uh, so what's, I'm bad at math, it's 500, right? <laughs> you know, and I got to say, uh, Dana, you know, for an analogy, if you would, I would, uh, a lot of soldiers, a lot of veterans that come out, you know, they're, they're big time into fitness. So I know that a lot of these guys are thinking about, you know what I'm saying about supplements and, and uh, opening up a training studio, a fitness studio. So as you do this dream 100 concept, maybe use that analogy. Cause I just know that that's something that they're thinking about. So who are okay. those, who are those upper level folks who have the databases of uh, athletes that you, that they want to connect with and train. That's awesome. So um, if that's your thing, fitness and, and yeah. opening up a studio or a gym or whatever, that's amazing. And uh, we'll think, think of like who, who the avatar is. So um, before you can determine who your dream on is, you have to determine who your customer avatar is because then that makes it easy. So um, I, I'm going to, I will, I will absolutely devastate an example there and it will be awesome. Um, <laughs> but before I get there, I want to talk about how implementing this strategy um, this is literally how, literally how I went from 96 K to 336 K my senior year in one year. And, um, it's, it's as simple as this. If you want to make a sh crap load of money, <laughs> stop selling. And I know it's like, what, what, how do you make money not selling Dana? And it's like this, stop selling and start prescribing. Okay. This is what I mean by that. Um, not looking to get political, but I think we could all probably agree that, um, pharmaceutical drugs are like, not really good for us, right? And uh, I think about how in the hell are those people selling as many of those things as they are, right? Like trillions of dollars. And it's a thing that is not good for us, number one. And it probably costs them a couple pennies to produce one of them. And they sell them for hundreds or possibly thousands of dollars. So like, it's like the, it's literally the greatest ripoff in the history of the universe, I think. I don't know. But um, I'm thinking to myself, right? How are they doing that? And it's quite simple, actually. They don't sell it. You never see, like, have you ever seen those commercials for pharmaceutical drugs? Yeah. It's like the first half is like a teddy bear and like all this stuff. And then the second half is like in a lawyer saying like, and by the way, it's going to give you like this 1600 side effects and yeah. like, you're probably going to die if you take it. Right. It, I don't want to buy it after watching that. <laughs> so what they do is they don't sell them. They prescribe them. Yeah, right. Yeah. So they literally dream 100 it. They find doctors, right? That guess what? You go to the doctor, you got some knee, you got a jacked up knee. This is what happens. This is how awesome this is. Great, you get a jacked up knee, you go to the doctor, the doctor, you know, says hello. You already know him, like him, trust him, right? Yep. And uh, you're like, doctor, my knee's messed up. I need some help. He's like, all right, here, got some. He writes down a prescription on a pad, hands it to you. You don't even question it, right? No, no. It's your, it's your doctor. He, he's doing what's best for me. You take that prescription, you go to Walgreens or wherever, you walk past literally 17 different options. You walk past the knee braces, you walk past the, uh, the creams, you walk past over-counter meds, you walk past the everything else that you could buy. You go straight to the pharmacy counter, you slap that on the desk, they're like, I'll be with you in a minute. They don't even want to take your money, it's so bad. And then you're like, can I please give you money? And then you, then finally, if they're, you know, they have an opening for you, you go give them money and you get your pills and you go on your way and you pay whatever price they want you to, or through your insurance or your insurance does. Right. Yep. So, um, the point is 
that that is how they run that and uh i'm thinking to myself wow I, I'm my, my junior year of college. I'm like, wow, I should probably start doing that kind of thing. Having other people prescribe my stuff. So with that being said, um, I, I don't want to deep, deep dive too much on the avatar thing, but just yeah. generally speaking, I'm sure you give them resources, but generally speaking, once you figure out who your avatar is, finding where they are is easy. So yeah. let's say that you are selling a gym membership. Okay. So let's say that your gym membership is hundred bucks a month. Yep. Right. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's your thing you're selling. Now, what you need to do is instead of going after your end client or your end uh, um, uh, customer, you want to find people that already have groups of potentially your end customer. So a couple examples in this, if you're launching a gym, right? Think about, especially at a local level, who are other people who have already gathered lists of people that would be interested in coming to your gym, right? So I would think about maybe salon. Right, people that maybe are already um, sort of scratching a similar itch. A salon could be one. Um, it could be a physical therapist, right? Or um, crap, anybody. <laughs> but uh, think about people, other businesses that already have customers who would be interested in your stuff. So a supplement store. Okay. Yeah. The list goes on and on. But the point is using the dream 100, developing relationships with these folks right here so that they can prescribe your gym to their customers is going to explode your sales and huge. explode your memberships. Huge. Very huge. So <laughs> a couple, I'll give you a, how about a couple quick strategies on how to, uh, cause I think conceptually it makes sense. Oh dang. Yeah. I should get, that person over there to like send their people over to me. But now it's like, okay, how do I do that? Right. So, so I go through a couple of quick examples of, um, of that, of how to do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. So let's say you snap our fingers, you've got your gym, you're ready to take new, new, uh, gym clients all day long. Right. So you go kind of what, what we call dig your well and kind of create relationships with these other business owners, these other people that have these groups of, of your ideal customer already established. And what you do is you want to do two things. There's two things that are going to motivate them to want to promote, promote and prescribe your gym to their audience. Yeah. And that is number one, they're going to be motivated if your thing makes their thing better. Okay. So if your gym causes them to uh, get better, like be happier with the way their body looks and then they'll go to the salon more. Right. Yeah. Or, you know, if your gym helps them recover from something, uh, then they'll, you know, like whatever, whatever your, your thing does, your gym or whatever, however that can benefit and make the other person's thing better. That's motivator. Number one, okay. Yeah. Motivator. Number two is, um, I mean, they're, they're not a charity, so they need to make money. So yeah. if you can give them commission and sort of a kickback. So for example, if you, if you charge a hundred bucks a month for your gym membership and Sally's salon down the road, is handing out flyers for your gym member for your gym and people are coming in that way, you should give Sally some of that money, right? Yeah. Cause that'll what that'll incentivize her to send yeah. more people. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. that, that always kind of de depends on a few things to tell. I don't want to tell you how much to give, but um, anywhere from 10 to 50% is an awesome uh, number an awesome range there. Okay. So um, that's kind of the, the concept behind what you're doing, but now it's, like, okay, let's actually put the, like, let's put this strategy in motion. Like, what do I need to do, Dana? Right. So, um, a lot of this, I, I actually have in my dream hunter challenge, which is really cool. I, I know Larry went through it and yeah. all that. So, um, one of the, one of the things though, is, uh, you want it to be as easy as possible for them. Okay. So in other words, if it's hard or any work at all for that salon to say, Hey, you should go check out Donnie's gym down the road. If that's difficult or not comfortable or whatever, they will not do it. So way easier is for you to just create a stack of flyers or something, business cards, whatever, um, little trinkets, you name it. Mm -hmm. And every time somebody went to Sally's salon and bought something from Sally, Sally hands that to them, right? So it's like, hey, Sally, it's, how hard is it to say, hey, Sally, could I just give you a bunch of flyers that every time somebody checks out, at your place, you just hand them the flyer. Sure. Yeah. And I'm going to put a code on there 
that I know that every time someone comes into my gym with that flyer, maybe they'll get half off their first month or their first month free or something, right? Yeah. And they're going to use Sally's flyer as the essentially the coupon that or the yeah. voucher they're redeeming. So I know that I can track it for Sally. So um, the point is, is just simply creating these like assets that you can then go and have Sally in everybody else hand out and pretty soon you're going to have a crap load of leads walking into your door. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. So that right there, I'll, I'll go back and I'll bring this full circle. That strategy right there is exactly what took me from 96,000 to in a year to making 336,000 because instead of chasing after, after my end client, like I was, I found people that had Facebook groups of my end client. Yeah. And I just befriended them. I gave them my thing for free, which you all should do. Okay, yep. so Sally's Salon, Sally from Sally's Salon should have a free membership to your gym because Sally should drink her Kool-Aid and she shouldn't be promoting your gym if she's not a member of the gym. Absolutely. Right? That's hugely important. So I would give my service that I was selling, I would give it to the people that own these Facebook groups for free. And it was a $10,000 service. Wow. And it was like just blowing them away with value, right? So let, let Sally have the keys to your gym. <laughs> if she's going to the crap out of it, like take care of her, right? Yeah. So point is though, is I could literally snap my fingers and fill up my calendar with $10,000 projects all day long because this one person on my Dream 100 would prescribe my service to their group. And then people just went in waves because you know what the coolest thing about the Dream 100 is? <laughs> Ready for this? Yeah, man. Is two things actually. Number one, it's the only source of warm and hot traffic on earth that already comes with built-in credibility and it comes for free. You only pay for it if they convert and they yeah. become a customer. There's no other source of traffic on the planet <laughs> that that happens and that that's cool. And it's unlimited, right? Imagine, you know, a couple months after digging your well and creating these relationships with all these people for your gym, imagine a couple months from now, if let's say, you know, Sally's sending over two people a day. And then we have, you know, Ronnie, he's sending over three a day. And pretty soon it adds up. You got a dozen people sending you leads all day long. Three, let's say they send two a, a piece. You're getting 24 people a day coming to your gym. And they're warm and hot because they already know, like, and trust the person that sent them. Yep. Right? Because they prescribed you. And uh, you don't pay for it unless they actually convert and become a member. And then you're getting customers for free. Yeah. How's that? <laughs> That's awesome, man. Right? Up there, oh my, my, my fellow veterans better be taking notes, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, I, I hope to goodness that these lessons are helpful because um, I wish I chased a lot of shiny objects yeah. on my journey. And I spent a lot of money on stupid stuff that did not give me an ROI. And there's nothing else out there, I promise you. There's nothing else out there that is as rock solid as this. Um, in fact, Larry knows this. Um, one of our mentors, uh, Russell Brunson, who created literally one of the largest software programs on the planet, yeah. he wrote the forward to my book. Yep. And so Russell Brunson, and literally the quote at the top, Russell says, this is the foundation for our entire company. Yeah. Like he didn't say like, yeah, this is how we get our traffic. He said, this is the foundation for our company, ClickFunnels. Yeah. Pretty big deal, right? Significant. So everybody out there, you've probably already been doing the Dream 100 without even knowing it. And maybe you didn't even know there's a word for it until now. It's called the Dream 100. And whether you've been doing it intentionally or not, I promise you from this day on, after watching this, your life's going to change because you're going to be way more intentional and strategic about the relationships you're building. And the coolest thing, Larry, ready for this? Yeah. Is that the Dream 100 doesn't just work for your business. It works for your personal life. Absolutely. Okay? So I had, I'll never forget, and you guys know this as, as military, um, you guys are brothers and sisters. So I'll never forget, I was at a men's ministry meeting and my pastor, so I was struggling because I was transitioning friends and I was kind of outgrowing some and then creating new ones and it was really hard to let go, right? And uh, I just had too many people yeah. in my world and it's a good problem, of course, but um, pretty soon my, my pastor started realizing that and he, he pointed to the wall and it was a bunch of bricks and he said Dana look at that wall do you see how there's like a hundred and some bricks on that wall I said yeah he's like all right he said how would you like to impact all hundred of those bricks as if they were people right 
I was like, I want to. That's awesome. He's like, here's how you do it. You can't impact all 100 at once. You can't do it. What you need to do is you need to see that, hone in on that brick right there. Yeah. I did, and it was me. He's like, that's you. So I'm looking at this brick, and he's like, see how that connects to six bricks, but only six? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, he's like, you need to choose six. that You go all in, and you give them everything. And guess what? Those six are connected to six. To six. And those six mm -hmm. to six. That's how you in, impact that whole wall, and that's how you change the world. And ever since then, I said, holy shizzle. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. So keep your friend group very small and very intentional. Yeah. And when you dream 100, do the same. I hope that you all dream 100 Larry because he's Whoa. an awesome guy. And you take <laughs> care of him. Um, and uh, it's been a pleasure and a privilege to be able to come here and serve you guys like you have me. So, Can you talk you. about the Dream 100 Challenge real briefly? Absolutely. Yes, so um, <laughs> so uh, I, after I wrote this book, um, I really did sell it for $2,000 a copy, by the way. Yeah. Larry's not lying. And uh, it's worth more than that. But um, – after I wrote this, people just kept demanding for more. And I'm like, why do you guys need more? I like, it's all in here. Like, just read it. And they're like, I know, but you have more, you have more, we want more. I'm like, okay. So um, I actually created, uh, because everybody gets this dream hunter thing and it, and it sounds awesome, but there's just like I said before, I'm gonna drink my Kool-Aid real quick. Okay? It's gonna be like, holy crap, this guy actually like does what he's teaching, right? So remember how problems don't go away, they just change. Yep. So I solved a major problem for you guys just now. And that is like, holy crap, I can get unlimited leads and customers to my business. And I'm going to build a real business, not just a product or a service. Yeah. I'm going to get unlimited leads, red hot for free. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. I solved that problem, but I created a new one. Now it's like, yeah. okay, I get this Dana, but like, who is my dream 100? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So in the challenge, I've solved that for you. And then the next problem is, okay, that's awesome. I know who they are now, but like, how do I like, like, what do I say to them to build the relationships? Okay, in the Dream Hunter Challenge, I've solved that one for you. I've given you all my scripts yeah. um, that are tested and perfected. And then the next problem is, okay, cool, I've got the relationship built, but like, how do I monetize it? And I'm like, okay, cool, I got everything there for you as well to monetize those relationships with your Dream Hunter. So I'm really excited because the Dream Hunter Challenge is really, really, really good, and it's way too cheap right now, but um, <laughs> it's nowhere near $2,000, right? Yeah. Um, I think all of you, I would love, and I would be – elated to get all of your audience in the dream 100 challenge. And I think you've got the, yeah. the link will be on this page probably. Absolutely. Yeah. And to my fellow veterans, you know, this is my next step as far as, uh, you know, now that the veteran summit is here, um, I'm, I'm moving into, uh, uh, you know, being a, a hardcore student of Dana. And so uh, he's got a lot more than just, he has a dream 100, the dream 100 con coming up. Um, he has a book authorship, opportunities he has a lot going on so that's kind of where i'm going next and so if you guys want to go with me uh, let's definitely connect on this and dana i i can't say enough thank you so much sir and how can uh how can my veterans get a hold of you sir where can they yeah. learn more about you yeah so um head over the a great starting point is the dream Hunter challenge um and that's like hitting the fast forward button on all this stuff i showed you guys and it's got awesome resources that you just fill in the blanks press go implement it into what you're doing um, obviously trust Larry, like he is taking care of you, um, and has walked this, this road too. And then, uh, the, the other places, um, if you're, uh, if you haven't already go ahead and get the dream hunter book, I think Larry, you'll probably have a link for that yep. as well. So, um, the dream hunter book, dream hunter challenge, that's where you can come find me and get all this gold. And, uh, Larry, I can't wait to yeah. see what the heck this, this thing does. And, and thank you for putting it on and having that's me be a awesome. part of it. All right, man. Thank you so much, Dana. And to my fellow veterans, uh, thank you so much for being here. You guys are truly honored to, to uh, connect here with Dana. It's just a, a great opportunity. And to my fellow veterans, I'll see you on the high ground. Hello, my fellow veterans. Thank you so much for watching the interview. I hope you got a lot of value out of that interview. Definitely go back and uh, take a pen and paper and uh, take some notes, right? Go back and watch that interview again at the top of the hour we will have another interview and now with all the speakers that we have at the veterans online summit uh, the a majority of them have provided a what we call a free lead magnet where you can learn more about them and uh, some kind of education for you but here's where what i want you all to do here's what i want you all to do uh, number one go to facebook group and add yourself to funnel vets 
F-U-N-N-E-L-V-E-T-S. I want you guys to become a part of Funnel Vets, okay? And all it is is a group of military veterans that is that are interested in online intra- entrepreneurship, mainly with click funnels, okay? And the second thing I want you to do is uh, if you're ready to go all in, which I hope you are, if you're ready to go all in, kind of the first initial steps that you can take, there's a couple of things that are very key, okay? There's two books in particular that I really want you to get right off the bat. And I'll get you the affiliate link for those books. But the first one is Dot .com Secrets. And this is the, uh, the online digital online marketing guide, okay? It's like the Bible for digital online marketing and learning how to sell online, okay? And that's by Russell Brunson of Click, Click Funnels. Then you have his second book, Expert Secrets. This is an amazing book, Expert Secrets, that I want you guys to pick up. And this is, uh, teaches you how to get paid for your advice, okay? Uh, and you're gonna learn all about that, you know, using persuasion um, to sell your product or service. Again, this is called Expert Secrets. Again, that's by Russell Brunson. Now, when you're looking to scale your business, when you're looking to scale your business, you're gonna be looking for a book called The Dream 100. This is revolutionary. It's, I can't even tell you how amazing this book is. I'll get you the link for that, okay? All three of these books, these are like kind of the main books here. Um, all three of them are free plus shipping, right? You're just gonna pay for some shipping. The other thing that I want you to consider getting, uh, another book from ClickFunnels, again, they provide a lot, right? But what they provide is something called the cookbook. This is free as well, you just pay the shipping costs. But in the cookbook, for uh, when you're learning how to, you get the ClickFunnels software, I'm gonna get you a link and get you two weeks free to use the software. And when you uh, use that software, this has everything you need to know about uh, building online software uh, or building a sales funnel, okay? And the different types of funnels that you can create, okay? And this is step-by-step step, and it's called the Funnel Hackers Cookbook, okay? Again, that's free plus shipping, all right? And then also my good buddy, if you're interested in learning how to write persuasively, again, if you're interested in learning how to write persuasively, Jim Edwards, who's a speaker on the summit, this book's not even available yet, but it's gonna be available. And I know he'll wanna get that to you. He's a huge uh, support supporter of veterans. He gave me this book and uh, that's Copywriting Secrets, okay? Uh, again, it's a lot, but I'm, I'm trying to get you guys the stuff that's necessary that will propel you, okay, over the next person who doesn't have this amazing material, okay? These are like foundational books. These are foundational books, okay? Now, if you only could get two books, only two, again, you'd get these two. If you just, you know, kind of low on money, you have to, I require, I'm a freaking officer, that's command authority right there, I'm giving you an order that you have to get these two books, okay? Definitely get these two books to start, and then moving forward from there, look to get the other books. Now, lastly, there is something called the One Funnel Away Challenge, and it's a 30-day challenge where you are going to uh, commit to yourself about an hour a day, hour to two hours a day, to learning click funnels, okay? And you'll have three amazing coaches, Russell Brunson, Julie Stowen, and Steven Larson, who's a military officer himself back in the day, okay? And they'll be coaching you through the uh, One Funnel Away Challenge. With that, it's $100, right? It's $100 for this thing, and you'll get all the uh, trainings every single day, videos and whatnot online, and you'll get this uh, box that will come in the mail to you. And this box is full of a ton of goodies, okay? Um, one thing that's included in is this uh, 30 days book. You suddenly lose everything in 30 days, what would you do? And they took 30 of the top ClickFunnels experts who use the software for different types of things, and they said, you have 30 days, and all you have is the ClickFunnels software. What are you gonna do to get back on your feet, okay? It's 30 different case studies of completely different things that you can do to get back on your feet with uh, in the online marketing world. And with the uh, One Funnel Away Challenge comes the workbook, okay? So again, just to recap, this is a, the One Funnel Away Challenge is something that I've done that almost every funnel hacker has done. It's 100 bucks and it lasts 30 days. I'll get you the link for that. And that's something that you can check out. But again, these are the two books that you wanna start off with, okay? Dot-com secrets and expert secrets.
all right? Immerse yourself in ClickFunnels. Just immerse yourself in ClickFunnels, and that's how you do it, starting off with those books. And I, and I hope that's going to, I know it's going to be really helpful for you. I know it's going to be really helpful for you. Again, if you want to go all in, this is how you do it, okay? You, take, you know how you do it? You take out your credit card, you take out your debit card, and you pay for it, right? Because all of us have, before you have done the very same thing, and you're going to be asking your potential clients to take out their wallet, and you got to be comfortable doing the same thing, okay? That's how it works in this game, and it takes a lot of hard work, but I'm excited to be there with you every freaking step of the way, okay? And lastly, lastly, um, I have some huge opportunities for you. I am an inner circle partner of Tier 5 the tier five software, meaning I have the ability to sell software. And I also have the ability to create partnerships on a limited basis so that they have the ability to sell software under me. So if you that interests you, I'm gonna give you some free software just to check it out, uh, to check out our product line and to be able to, whatever you decide to do, if you decide to create online courses, if you decide to write a book, if you decide to do digital marketing, if you decide to be a life coach, if you can add software to your offer, you make that offer even more irresistible, okay? Again, you make that offer more irresistible to where clients will want to take up that offer and give their money to you, okay? And so I'm going to give you some opportunity to check out the Tier 5 software, and uh, I hope that is really helpful to you guys, okay? So again, to, you have to go all in. That's all I'm asking. You may not believe in yourself. At, sometimes you'll doubt yourself. But the one thing you will never do is you'll never give up on yourself. Cool. All right. On to the next interview. I appreciate you guys.